in fine shape. Coming up next, a series of random events propels a beautiful young woman toward love in red. Our next film called Red is something special, the conclusion of a magnificent three-part work by director Krzysztof Kieslowski, a project very much about the everyday happenstance of life, here ultimately bringing together characters from the two other films in the trilogy, Blue and White. The story this time, a Swiss model played by Irene Jacob, hits a dog Excuse belonging me. to a reclusive, eavesdropping judge, Jean-Louis Trintignant, and when she, she brings the injured animal to him, she. he's indifferent to the dog and seemingly to her. Vita, uh, je suis un C'est possible. Elle a disparu hier. Elle est sur la banquette arrière de ma voiture, vivante. Je sais pas ce qu'il faut faire. Meanwhile, the model's mind is adrift also, at least from the photographer who is infatuated with her. Tu penses à qui? The relationship between the model and the embittered judge does progress, however, when he attends a fashion show. Vous êtes venu. Vous saviez que l'invitation était de moi. Je le voulais. What's read about? I think it's about the slow reopening of the judge's heart, and slow is the critical word, because again, this is not a Hollywood film with big character development. Rather, the judge is slowly brought out of his terminal ennui, and in a brilliant, absolutely brilliant concluding scene, director Kieslowski brings together all of the fragile characters from his previous two films in the series, and I think begs for self-tolerance in the face of the enormous swings of fate that life can present. Life is precarious, Kieslowski is saying. Enjoy what you can, when you can. You know, I think Red is one of the most absorbing and fascinating films that you could possibly see, because and he said it doesn't go in for the big Hollywood character development. Oddly enough, actually, it's almost a somatic discussion, but it does go in for character development, and Hollywood doesn't. Because in most Hollywood movies, the characters appear fully developed, never change, never grow, never learn, never question themselves, and basically just go straight on ahead, uh, enacting the, the requirements of the plot. Yeah. In this movie, we start out very intrigued by these people. Who are they? What are they? What makes them work? And then we discover gradually that they're very complex people and that their relationships are going to be much more subtle than we thought. Well, that process is fascinating. Well, th that's the whole difference here. We're, uh, uh, emotional development here is by the micrometer here. Yeah. I mean, and, and you study that. And the movies are rich enough. And the precision of being able to see somebody on a big screen almost begs for precision in yeah. emotional development. But again, as we say in Hollywood, it's all big this stuff. This is what I would call growing up filmmaking. This is a movie by an adult for adults. When we come back, our video pick of the week, a suspenseful new release about a mysterious young woman.